the fact that we are struggling, the fact that people all over the world are looking at us like we're some kind of dysfunctional country, the fact that we have about a million federal employees not getting their checks, not knowing where the next meal is going to come from, the fact that we have more than two million workers who work for private sector contractors who don't know where they're going to get paid or how they're going to get paid is something we should all take note of. And we should listen to those who say, this is ridiculous. This is self-inflicted. You know, it, it just reminds me, you, you get up and you, you, you get out of your house, it's a beautiful day, you're walking down the street, yeah, you got a few problems on your mind, you, life isn't perfect, but it's pretty optimistic, it's pretty good. And suddenly, you take a stone from the ground and bash your head in. Honest to God, that's what they've done, these Republicans. They bash the head of America on a beautiful day when we're coming out of recession, when we know we have our problems, but we also know we can solve them. It doesn't make sense. And then, as if that isn't enough, they have another stone in their other hand called default. So just as you're beginning maybe to see the light of day, hit yourself again and say to the world, America could actually default on its debts. And the full faith and credit of the United States is in question. Robert C. Byrd, one of the great senators and historians, always tells us to read the Constitution. He told us to read the Constitution. So in my desk, I have a couple of copies, and every once in a while, I look at it. And in that Constitution, it's pretty clear. And I'm not quoting verbatim, but it says that the debts of the, of the United States shall not be questioned, shall not be questioned. Nobody has a right to play with that. And yet we're doing it again because the Republicans are angry. Now, why are they angry? And they are angry. Woo! They're angry. Why are they angry? They're joyless. I believe it's because they lost the presidential election. I believe it's because they didn't take back the Senate. That's what I believe. 